Okay, so a uh, quick demo here to show you how you can put a emoji, any emoji, into the subject line of an email. And uh, this question came from John in the OG membership community this morning, but I thought I would record a demo in case it serves anyone else. And a special shout out to Daniel Bushius because it was on his blog that I first learned and memorized this process. And so this is what I do each and every time. First, I load this page, which does take a little while to load. You probably don't need this, but this is where I pull the emojis from, unicode.org. I'm sure there are other resources, but um, I just do like a control F for whichever emoji I want to use. Let's grab this one. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to choose one from one of these specific columns. Um, I usually just go with the first one, browser. And then I copy that and hop over to this tool, uh, cylogscilog.org slash all of that, and paste in the emoji. And then when you click submit, it spits out this little uh, string of characters and code. And then that is what you use in your subject line. So I have tested this uh, exhaustively with the legacy broadcast builder. Um, that's the Bard builder that we've used inside of Keep for years. So let's just show you what that one looks like. Ahoy, and then you paste that in, and um, that's it. Uh, I'll just go ahead and send a test here, and I can show you what that looks like in my inbox. Okay, so there it is. We've got the subject line, Ahoy, and the skull and crossbones emoji. Um, obviously, that shows up in the preview before you even open the email. Now, let's do the same thing, um, but we will test it with the new email builder, the unlayer email builder, just to make sure that this process uh, works reliably in that tool as well. So let's add our subject line, ahoy. And actually, I'll just do V2 here so we can differentiate in the inbox. Save that, and now we'll add some content to this email. Okay, so we've got our subject line, we've got our content. Uh, we don't need an audience, we're just gonna send a quick test here, and we'll see how that looks in the inbox. Okay, so there it is, Ahoy V2. You can see the skull and crossbones is successfully added to the subject line again. So um, as far as I know, this works for any and every emoji. Obviously, I have not tested them all, um, but I have tested a variety of them and have not encountered any real issues with it. Um, so if you can find this website, you should be able to convert any of the emojis you want to use into the text string that you can use in the subject line. Uh, just to be abundantly clear, I have not found this to be supported in the body of the emails, but my understanding is that that is a, a product of the email client, not a product of Keep. It just is, it's not reliable, or it's not reliably going to show up in the body of emails in all email um, inboxes. So it's probably best practice to just stick to the subject line. Um, there are a few um, smiley faces, the thumbs up, like a few basic ones that might work in the inbox, but I've had intermittent success there. So feel free to, to do some testing for yourself. Hope this was helpful. Uh, thanks for the question, John. And a special shout out to uh, Daniel Bushius from Built by Love, who originally published this tip on his blog, and I've been using it in the years since then. Take care.